Hi, I'm Mark Steinbrook, and this is Kurt Steinbrook. We're with OurChurch.com, and on this video, we're going to talk about SEO, or search engine optimization, and answer the question, is it an expense or an investment? There it is. Video's done. <laughs> it's an investment. Now, in, in all reality, uh, it is an investment, but let's uh, we'll talk a little bit about why it's an investment. So, Kurt, why don't you share a little bit of your expertise on that? Sure. I mean, this SEO, like any marketing that you do, should be considered an investment. It's you're doing it for the purpose of bringing more into your organization, whether that's more revenue or more members or more students, whatever it might be. You're not just spending money. You're spending money in order to gain. Um, so it is an investment, and really, you know, with, with some organizations like businesses, it's a, it's a very easy concept. Okay, well, I, I spent a thousand dollars, and I did two thousand dollars more in business, so I made a thousand dollars. So you understand that you know this is investment. I invested that thousand, I made a thousand. Mm -hmm. With some organizations, it's not quite as clear cut. Sure, um, you know, with. Uh, with churches especially, we, we don't even like to think about the monetary side of, of bringing people into the church. Right. You know, and it's and it's legit. You know, we our focus is on bringing people to Christ, and that's where our focus should be. But there is a practical side to things. There's, you know, the church does tend to make certain decisions based on whether it can afford to do something. Right. Um, I know with my church, we could use a new sound system. We haven't done it yet because we don't have the money to do it right now. Right. You know, so it's you know it's just a practical reality. Um, the same thing goes with marketing. When you're when you're having that discussion, you know, with the church council or whatnot, a lot of times you have the the budget guy who's saying, "Well, where are we going to come up with the money for this? It sounds like a neat idea, but where are we going to come up with it?" Right. And the reality is that for churches, this is an investment too, because the people that come in, there should be some of them that are going to be tithing, and there is there is a monetary side to that. Right. Yeah, and if, if a lot of churches uh, probably already know exactly what an average family that starts attending the church uh, will start to give on a weekly basis, and it might be say twenty dollars a week. Um, you know, it probably should be a lot more, but it could be twenty dollars a week, which over the course of a month means that uh, one family that starts attending is uh, will start to bring in about eighty dollars more per month. Two families being one hundred and sixty dollars. So if you're bringing in one hundred and sixty dollars as a result of a marketing initiative, and the cost of that marketing initiative is one hundred and fifty dollars, you've not only reached and met your cost. You're now, you now have a surplus, and that surplus, um, you know, month over month over month, and as you add more and more people, and you keep the, uh, the families that have started to attend and continue to give, um, that surplus is just going to grow, and it's going to give you the opportunity to do other ministries and other programs that you weren't able to do beforehand. Absolutely. SEO is not instant. Uh, this is something that is a little bit different than some sorts of, uh, of marketing, online advertising being one of them, um, other more traditional kinds of advertising as well. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, SEO and how it's not an instant return and it's, it's more of a gradual over time return. Sure, and this one of the key aspects of this is you know we're talking about this as an investment and so you're, you're going to want to kind of gauge how well am I doing versus what am I getting back. And but understanding that SEO isn't instant is very important to that. You know, if you if you're doing an AdWords campaign, you, you buy your keywords and you can look at it and say, okay, well I spent a hundred dollars and I only got, you know, fifty dollars in business out of it. This wasn't a good investment. You right. know? And you can tell that pretty quickly with, with something like AdWords. But with SEO, like you said, it's a growing process. It's a it's a cumulative effect. And so when you start out, you might not actually be making back as much as, as you're spending. Sure. But you will grow into it. And uh, generally what it would look like, and we actually have a graph here, um, is you know, maybe this is what you're spending here, this line right here. And especially if you're starting with a brand new website, you're probably not going to be making much of anything or anything back initially because you've got uh, to establish yourself in the search engines. You've got to do the optimization, do the keyword research all this kind of stuff. It takes some time to do that and the search engines take a little bit of time to respond to things. Um, so you may start where you're not really even getting anything back the first month or so. Right. And then, but then as you start to show up in the search engines, you start to get some of those rankings, it starts to, to bring in something. And as you grow, if you're, especially if you're doing link building, you're doing uh, content development, and you're sharing things on the social networking sites, all that kind of stuff, 
you're going to grow the authority and the trustworthiness of your site. And so that's just going to keep increasing your rankings and how many keywords you're ranking for. And it's going to keep growing. You'll get to that point where you're breaking even. And then from there, it's just going to keep going up. And you're, you're making that surplus that you talked about. You're making more than you're actually spending. Right. And really, we're looking at this. We could just keep going. You know, we, we have this little graph. It's got its limited amount of space. But it's just going to keep going up yeah. even from there. And the amount of time, I mean, right now at the bottom of this, we show three months, six months, nine months. Uh, that might, you know, that probably will vary from organization to organization, website yeah. to website. It could be that you're realizing... Um, a much better return a lot quicker. It could be that it takes a little bit more time. Um, that's going to change from, from website to website. But the key is that um, over time, the, uh, the revenue or the return on the investment will eventually uh, exceed the investment that you're putting in. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with what your competition's like, how much are you actually doing in the marketing, um, and where were you to start? Because if you already have an established site, you may be starting you know, well above what you're spending. Right.